Alright, what up, y'all? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Tuesday, October 6th, 2020. We getting in here with this little test squad, dude. The poo stank. I want to make it work. I got another video coming out with the Unko. The Unki Dookie. Damn, if only I had another card here to make this good work. Yeah, I want to make this team work, though. The Unki Dookie. Up in Axie, dude. Axie right now is on fire. All right, can we crit? Crit this man. Crit this man! If we had one more beast move... That would have been fire. Poo stank, but we don't have nothing really to clean it up. We could go to. I don't want smash. Go to smash. Just using all our energy. Oh, snap. Here, is it time for an egg? I think it's time for an egg bomb from our opponent here. It's time for an egg bomb. No, he's not. He's just putting up mega shields. All right. Well, mega shields. Boom. Oh, we did cottontail. He's probably going to serious and take that. He is, but he won't get a carrot. Damn, the mega shield. All right. Maybe I should have passed. I did nothing. No watering can here. Uh, I don't have any plays. What does he do now, Little Al? I sense. Oh, yes! Little Al! And he crits with the Little Al! Alright, I mean, come on. Is this what we want to face, dude? No. This is not what we want to face. I could... Poo stank. Dude, what, what does he do? Just one, a single little owl? Poo stank. Rice. But all this is stupid. Like, everything that I have here is just dumb. <laughs> my team is just stupid. Uh, all my combos right now. Poo stank. Rice. And that's it. Is that what we're just gonna do? Poo stank. Rice. Okay. Kills my dude. He plays a carrot. Oh, if I would have just taken it. Damn. If I would have just taken it right there, that would have been awesome. All right, so here I have somewhat of a chance to win. Believe it or not. If he attacks into me. No, all right. He's not attacking. So if we can kill, though, maybe... Oh, damn. But does a beast ever win this? No, he don't. So what I should... I shouldn't have uh, cottontailed there. A beast never wins this against a risky feather. Hell no. Hell no, dude. Look at... What does a risky feather do? 2-2-2 two, two, two against the beast? Yeah. That's pretty ridiculous. That never wins. Oh shit, we going invisible now. Oh, these guys, these bug teams right here, dude. I was looking at these on the market. I kind of wish, kind of regret not buying one of these dudes. These Dawns. So I forget who came out with this. I think it was Lunacy and Bound or Gibberson or somebody. They came out on the market with these Dawn, Antenna Dawns. And I was looking at them like, uh, they look cool, but I wasn't sure, wasn't sure. And now I'm like, some bitch should have bought them. At least one of them. I don't know. To, to mix them into my team. I've been selling a lot of axes, man. The marketplace is going nuts. I got 57 axes now. Been selling them. But I, I want to try new stuff, too. All right, what are we going to do? Go to this, all this. One, two, three. You know me. All right, is he doing it? Antenna? Yeah, he is. He's going to take one from us because of our carrot. And he gains. But if we can keep our tank alive here. Huh. Destroy that shit. If we can keep our tank alive. The watering can is pretty good. 
got a lot of those water cards. He got a lot of those water cards. Alright, does this kill one? I probably put him in last stand here, right? Man, is it worth it to run another one here? I don't think so. Let's go. Show me your water. Show me your aquatic. Two, two, five, six, three. All right, he wants to. He's like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I show you. But it's not enough to kill because he's playing a pumpkin. A pumpkin and a heal. Hi, yum, 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 yum. He wants to heal. It's all right. We gained a couple energy. This is the off season, but my last two opponents, they're playing both of their teams that they play during the season. That's a violation. Okay, what do I do? Is this super risky to run this? Man, you know it is. One, two, three. See, this can't even kill. This doesn't even kill here. And then it's so risky. If he runs two cards into my plant, I'm still going to do it because I, I don't give a fuck. But it's probably stupid. Okay, maybe he doesn't kill me. Oh, I didn't get this one out. No! What? Why and how? This should be a prickly trap on that dude. What the fuck, man? Give me last stand. Dude. How is there no prickly trap right there from my beast? I guess. What the freak, dude? I don't know. I guess I got to do everything here. I got to at least do two. I guess he could leave with an emo. No? All right. He just, he just slices in. Ugh. We don't even want to kill this guy, dude. We're going to the back, dude, right? Is that even smart? Probably not. We need another poo stank. That's a good play. That's a good play. Watering can rice. Now what he could do is he could run a water. Oh, he's just going to do it. All right. What people do and what they can do, they can do it. They can run a water card, an aquatic card, and then they can steal it with the antenna. Rice, though? Nah, just watering can. And what the... And hold my energy. Hold it. Because we about to smash, dude. We about to straight smash. With a trap. All right, he's got a chance to do it again. Flashbacks from last game. Risky feather against the beast. That shit is super scary. He hits for 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Don't crit me, bro. Oh, he did. He crits me for 408. Wow! Luckily, my beast got a last stand tick. Dude, this team probably is no good. <laughs> probably is no good. I want it to work, though. I want some variety. I want some other shit. I hope when they come out. I know Jiho just released the September update for Axie Infinity. And they said, uh, you know, all the shit they were doing, the card art looks cool. But it was different art. It was like a chili. It had a chili pepper, but it wasn't the, the hot butt chili. So I don't know. And it had like a, a more realistic feel to it, a real realistic artwork. I hope they don't change the cartoony design. I think that's a part of the game where it's cartoony like that. It looks cool. But I hope they, they make some changes. Uh, caterpillars or whatever, that horn. I want that to get buffed up. Uko, if it lasts for two rounds, would be really freaking sweet. I think Double Talk is another card that needs to be looked at. I, that's another thing I want to make. I want to make a Double Talk Axie. Because all the shield breaks, like Snail Shell, Carrot. I mean, there's tons of them. The, the counter to that is Double Talk. So you just have a, a sweet-ass Double Talk Axie going on. 
That would be cool. And I was looking at a double talk on an Imp Ronin, but I don't think you need it with Imp. Because double talk... Like, Imp is kind of like your down card to beat the Snail Shell. So you don't even really need it. You got Imp. Imp's weak as shit on its own. So that's kind of the throwaway card. Imp's kind of the zero-cost card in that situation when you're facing a Snail Shell. So you want a banger, dude. You want the soothing song, whatever, smooth talk, whatever the hell it's called. I'm fucking drowsy as shit. Soothing song. And uh, you want all bangers, dude. You want fucking smashers and bangers. All hard hitters. That's what you need. All right, this guy's cool. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Grub Surprise. This, this card needs to be buffed. Make it like Cute Bunny. I don't know. Make it stronger. Make it do 120. You got to make it stronger. It's just weak. I see what they're trying to do, like a bruiser build with a high shield, but it's just not enough. Nobody uses it. Also, this right here, aquaponics, they're going to change that to work like uh, the nut. So the nut mouth and the nut cracker, if you combo them, it'll do that. I think that'll be a great change if they do that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, serious tanks are everywhere. That's kind of a annoying. Everyone runs serious. Turn one, Kataro. Shit. D turn one. Oh, fuck. He about to shit on me. Damn. Well, there's a... Whatever for a max tank. There's a good sign or a good reason to have a 61 health tank. Right there, baby. Ronin... Hair dagger, hair dagger, and your tank will have one health. Can you believe that? I should have used Prickly Trap last turn. Oh no, he won't have one health because you gotta have a 20 shield. So you got a 30 shield. You gotta at least play a Kataro to 30 shield. But otherwise, I'd have been dead! I should have played Cactus last turn though, because I would have been able to get through on this guy with a cactus. So we steal one with our rice. We don't have Uko Duko. And we're just gonna do this double. I wouldn't be surprised if our opponent just passes right here. Yep. Sky Fang! Crit! Damn. Alright, we wasted an energy. Now our opponent goes crazy after us. And we're still going to just put up a big shield. Man, this kind of stinks. Actually, maybe I don't. Maybe I just try to kill his guy with four. One, two, three. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to keep one swift escape because that's my only chance to beat this bird. And here we go. Third game in a row, we're facing a back axie bird with risky feather. Oh damn, dude! Look at this guy, though. I bred this guy. That's that's kind of something I want to do too. I want to do all breeds. Oh shit, we drew terribly. Well, hopefully he just attacks into us and it's enough to make us faster. That sucks. We'll try it. I don't think it is enough to make us faster than him. Damn, we gotta be. 40%? 40% faster, is it enough? Shit! He's 61 speed! No! It's not. Alright, can we live though? My man has attack plus, dude. Oh, the feather. The feather from hell, dude. Here it comes. Ugh, my goodness. So I need a double goldfish. Man, why is my shit running so slow today? It's like lagging out. My dudes don't pop up. Q's my invisible team. Yo team invisible. Invisible. Steel destroy. <laughs> and any water over here from this guy? <clears throat> He's got this horn. Aquatic horn, I don't know. We'll throw it out there. He's got a serious. We don't want to give anything. 
turn one, people do use their aquatic cards, I find, when they see a watering can. Do we steal anything? No. So we got to do it like that, too. We got to steal first and then go to second. Because if you destroy it and then try to steal, that's some bullshit. You want to steal that shit first and then steal it. Steal it and then destroy it. Alright, well he doesn't have any energy. What's he gonna do? Just heal? Dude, I feel like I took like NyQuil last night or something. Oh shit, he's double serious in me? Oh shit, he took one. You little bitch. Crit. Crit! No crit. Ain't no crit on that ass. Oh damn. Alright, hit me with the shield, dude. Shield, heal. I know you want to. You want to keep your tank alive. Shield heal. And just give me an energy. But if he heals, then I won't kill him. So maybe just... Nah, even the shield, I won't kill him either. So That's a good play, though. If, if your tank's faster than your opponent's tank, you could run that shield up. That deep sea gore. Get the 30% extra. Alright, he don't give a shit, though. He's coming with another serious. Say it ain't so. Woo! Say it ain't so, but he will kill us. Last stand. No! Our Axie was scared of motherfucker. Damn, here's where I need double nut. My team right here, you know... I don't know, man. I just don't know. Right, I'm just gonna do this little baby watering can. He hasn't shown us this aquatic horn yet. Show me! This team, I don't know, man. I don't know about it. It's all over the place. It's intriguing. I, this middle guy. Really, it's this Axie in the middle. This guy. He he doesn't... He's an aquatic with zero aquatic moves. He's got two beast moves. A plant and a reptile move. But... He's got defense on his back. Two energy manipulators in Gota and Rice. And Pooh. He's got Pooh's tank. And he's 43 speed, which is decent for Pooh's tank. Pooh's tank a lank. All right, he's just... What is he doing? He's just using all his energy. Like, fuck this dude. I ain't giving you no chance for nothing. All right, so here we go. Don't kill me. And I kill your bird. This is what happens. Don't kill me and I kill your bird. And then I'm one on one with a dusk. Don't double serious me either. That would be a pain in the butt. Then I'm one on one with a dusk. Versus a beast. With a beast. Yeah, I like Unko, man. And the other one too. Ant dude. Chemical ant. Whatever it is. Fire ant. Something. Ant butt. I need to sell more axes though, dude. I'm ready to go all in on dark energy crystal. Poop. Oh, he's saving his energy. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a mistake, brother. Brother. The brother. That was a mistake, dude. Because now, I mean, you're. What are you gonna do? I mean, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go after you hardcore, bro. You're gonna try to serious me, but oh, I'm out of energy. You're gonna try to serious me, but it ain't gonna work. I ain't holding nothing. And I ain't using no cotton tail for your ass. Let's see if we can steal one though. We steal one, you steal it back? No. And this dude's a fuzzy, right? Look at this guy, man. He's a fucking fuzzy, bro. Fuzzies are probably the best. Maybe frosties, I don't know. Fuzzies are awesome though. Yeah, fuzzies are the best. And he's got the spikes sticking out. Like, how cool is that, dude? Watering can rice. Yeah, we're just going to use our front guy. We're going to let him live the most. Try to use his cards before we get to the back, dude. And now he's in last stand with two. Oh, serious, dude. He's going for it. Well, he had the right play. Ooh, what hell? I think he had the right play. He had the right idea in mind. To go serious. Can I make this team any different, though? I don't think I can. 
My guy has to be under 43 speed, so it cuts out like a huge chunk of my axes. Look at all these axes up here above 43 speed. So it has to be below. So starting here at dart, 42 speed. I got this guy, which is kind of interesting, this plant. He's got Winghorn with a, a stun, Tiny Turtle with a zero cost card. He's okay. He's got Pigeon Post too. Everyone's putting a beast in the middle these days. So he's all right, but I don't know if he's just too weak. You know, when you go, I like my idea for the game might just be too slow where I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I want to control. I want to, I want to like pick apart my opponent. I want to go in and I want to wing horn and stun his middle axe and play like that slow controlling game. When it seems like really, you can't, you, you don't really do that in Axie. That's not really that effective. What you do is you just save up four energy and you just blitz. You just fucking wing horn and then you do three damage cards and you kill that motherfucker. You know, you don't, you don't bang and, and smack. You know, you don't fuck around. You know, you go in there and you blast that ass. Yeah, you blast that ass. You know, that's like the normal thing. So I was, I had a ton of Axies, not a ton, but... I don't know, like probably like 70. I sold like 10 axes, down like 57. Because I had such ideas when I first started playing. I was like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then I was like, oh, that sucks. These ideas are garbage. So then I was just like, I'm selling these fucking axes. You know, if I don't play them, if, if they don't fit my style or whatever, I'm just selling them. So I started selling them, man. I sold like 10 axes recently. And I'm up like two ETH, you know, nothing major, but it's cool that you could you could play a game, you could buy some axes, you could breed some axes, and you could start, you could flip them, you know, you could sell some axes. The price went way up. New players are coming on. The market's fucking hot. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like about when I compare it to Gods Unchained, you know, ETH, you know, fucking Axie and Gods Unchained is both on ETH, man. They're both on Ethereum. You know, the gas fees are high as fuck. So. That's not an excuse for why Gods Unchained is dead and nobody's buying the cards because Axies are fucking flying off the shelves. Sure, Axies might be a little bit more individually. They might cost 30 bucks or whatever, but there's Gods Unchained cards that are 30 bucks too. And they're, they're, the volume is, not, is nowhere near, dude. The volume is nowhere near. So I don't buy it. I do hope that... God's Unchained pick does pick up. You know, I talk a lot of shit. It might seem like, oh, you're a hater. You know, I'm not a hater, dude. I'm just fucking real. You know, the truth hurts sometimes. Might be harsh a little bit. But it's just what I see, you know. Can I can I tell you my feelings? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So I got this dude too, man. This dude's got double Japanese parts. I kind of like him. I don't like that he's a plant with no plant moves, but I like that he's Toothless Bite with Kui Kestrel Buzz. I mean, he's pretty good. I wish the buzz was something else, like a plant. Yeah. If it was a plant back, a smacker, I don't know, something. Because it's the opposite. Like, uh, bug moves are good against plants. Bird and aquatic moves are bad against plants. So I'm like, ugh, I'm kind of like fighting against myself. I guess you could look on the other side and be like, well, you're balanced. You know, you could you could attack a, a plant and then you can attack some, you know, a beast or something. But I kind of want my axes to be laser focused now. You know, like what we were just talking about with this guy with the, with the wing horn and the chomp. You know, you're playing this kind of in the middle game where you really don't have any focus. You're just like good at everything, you know? I don't know. It's jack of all trades, master of none type of deal. It doesn't seem that effective in Axie where where you're you're trying to fill all these niches or all these roles. It seems like you should be focused on doing something well and do it really well with your Axies. You know, you want an Axie that fucking does one thing and he does it fucking great. And that seems to be the path. You know, it comes from experience from learning the game. And hey, I could be wrong. But that's where I stand right now where I think, you know, you want a damage dealer? You want a fucking damage dealer. You want that motherfucker to blast ass. 
And that's it, you know? You don't want them to be fucking patty caking around and fucking around and shit. You want him to blast ass and move on with his life. You know, glass cannon type shit. Either he, he dies, he dies, whatever. He kills or be kills. That's just the way it goes. Now, there is some room for some funky dudes, though, you know? I, that's where it's, like, kind of the rub. Like, ooh, I like a funky dude. I like a dude that could have, like, a snail shell, but then he's a beast-ass dude. Like, one of my dudes that I bought that I really like, and I think I, I think he has a great potential. Okay, this guy right here is one. I wish this Indian star was something different, but here's an example of a dude that has a great defense. Well, this guy's, like, a middle defense indian stars okay meh you know it's not gonna stop anybody really but it fights back and then look he's got star nut cute bunny i mean he's a fucking savage over here gonna hurt your feelings but he also has good d but the real guy that i was talking about was this dude right here so he's got snail shell aranda swallow and cute bunny he also has two japanese parts this is the type of build like dude a midliner this guy has to be in the midline, but a midliner like this is appealing to me. Look at him. I mean, he's really fucking good. I wish he had star, and I wish he had, you know, something else here, but I really like this guy. I think you could build a good team around a midliner like this, and you could also build a good team around a midliner like this because Q Bunny, man, is underrated, I think, and... If they make Caterpillar as good as Cute Bunny is, then that's going to be a good card too. And I think they will. Whoops. Eh, whoopsies. I think they will. I think Caterpillar gets buffed. It has to. Make it do 120 damage. Bugs suck. And what they did was they didn't change Beast or didn't change the crit system or the morale system. All they did was they buffed a couple Beast cards. They buffed Pokey, the Horn from doing 80 damage or something stupid and healing you to doing 125 or some crazy shit and then doing an extra 10% if you have a bug on your squad. Like, they turn that into a, a fucking beast-ass savage cracker that wrecks your opponent. That horn is now good. And then they changed some other shit on the beast. What'd they change? They made another fucking uh, horn good. Pokey and, you know, I don't fucking know. Some other shit. Can I see one real quick over here? Whatever. So they didn't change the... The point is, they didn't change the fucking beast themselves. As far as, like, the class and what the class does. They changed a couple on-class cards for the beast. And that's how they made it good. So I, I hope or think that that's what they're going to do with the bugs, too. They're going to make a couple underpowered bug moves. Good! real good and caterpillar is the one it's the standout one so this dude right here i wanted to breed him and make him an imp ronin with nutcracker tail and cute bunny mouth that combo is fucking awesome but i put him up on the market for point two somebody else could try that breeding project it's a it's a great combo i want to do it but gas prices are super high and uh you know the market's on fire so hey I put it out there. I'll let somebody else buy it if they want. If they don't and he, he doesn't sell, then, you know, I'll take him off and I'll, I'll do it once Ronin comes out. I'll do the breed. So there's that. Also got this guy, Thing 1 and Thing 2. I got two of these dudes. He's awesome. Antenna, Ronin, Cute Bunny, Nutcracker Tail. I mean, this guy. The only thing I can say about him is if his ears were something better, like a beast or a bird maybe. He would be better, but other than that, I mean, this guy is all damage, and he has, he fills a role. He he can sit in on an antenna team as a damage dealer, midline or backline, and he's got CC, Q Bunny, at 40 speed. If you put this guy at the, as the slowest guy on your team, you could you could hurt opposing tanks. Where this guy fears, and with antenna, you know, he's gonna fear. And the, the opposing tank comes out and tries to, like, double serious you or something, you know? They try to come out with a double serious, and you freaking hit him with a fucking cute bunny as your slowest axie. And now he whiffs. <laughs> I mean, that's a fucking swing. The only downside is, if your opponent passes, and you leave your opponent's tank feared, 
Now they can shake that off by just playing two cards on their fast axes the next turn. So you know, it's a guessing game with Axie, but still, this guy has a lot of potential. But he doesn't fit in the dude I'm looking at. Um, this dude, actually, I just sold this guy. Axe just bought this guy this morning. So I got to sync my Axies. This guy's gone. He's okay. I bought him for 0 0.06. Virgin sold him for 0 0.1. Made a couple bucks on him. Axe already bred him twice. <clears throat> He's going, like, trying to breed him into a tank. Bred him with a reptile, so whatever. Yo, he's all right. I mean, he's not strong enough to be a backdoor though. Shrimp with Sirius, it's just not strong enough. He needs one more card. Kingfisher Bamboo with Shrimp, sure, that could work, but he needs a smack. He needs a mouth there. So I don't know what I could really put in for my dude. Could I just play another tank in the back? I need damage. This guy's kind of got damage, but he's a plant. And I did try him. I think in my upcoming video, I tried him. He's probably my next option. He's got dual blade risky fish and the arrow in the back with a zero cost card. The only thing I'll say about him is cattail. I don't like it on my back axis. I like it on my mid axis. I don't really want to draw on my back axis. I guess you could, but... I much more prefer it on my mid axis. Also, with a beast, you're less likely to encounter a beast in the back one on one. It's more likely going to be an aquatic, a bird, or a plant, or a reptile. I guess they could have a beast or bug move, but usually it's not. So I kind of like him in the mid. So I don't have many options, I don't think. I need a damage dealer, and that's probably why I think. That beast is my best bet. And, you know, hey, I'm a little proud of that guy. I bred that guy, dude. You know, it's almost like I'm getting to the point where, like, dude, I only want to play axes that I fucking bred myself. I only want axes that I bred. I'm stuck up, bro. You, Oh, somebody else bred that shit? Nah, fuck that. You can have that. I bred this shit. It's my axe. And these two I bred. I bred this one. I bred this one. I bought this one, but. And he's the fucking centerpiece of the, of the deck or the team. Centerpiece of the team. But I do have somebody to breed him with. And he is 43 speed as well, this guy. So I got two Poostank dudes. Both have water and can. This guy's got bait and swallow compared to rice and goto. Now the rice and goto one is way better. But one's a reptile, one is an aquatic. I don't know. I like them both. I think they're both good. You know, this guy I really picked up because bait and watering can is, is a, a combo that I really want to explore and try to use it. But we'll see. I think I'm just going to keep my beast. Keep my beast here for now. Cactus is all right. Goldfish is good. I kind of wish he had dual blade. You know, he would probably make me happy if he had dual blade. If he had dual blade, I think he would make me a lot, a lot happier. 54 morale, he would get, he would have 56 morale if he had dual blade. And who knows, maybe I'll, uh, I'll breed him out and take a look. But all right, that's going to be it for this Tuesday edition of the stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody has a great time. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Later!